What's going on, everybody? Kenny Dubs here with a, another Mega Man X Dive Leaf Patch update for the global version. So, today we're going to be taking a look around and seeing what's new. Now, uh, prior to this going live, uh, Zero X, uh, one of the mods from or one of the devs for X Dive, uh, actually DM'd me. So, if I click on this this week, it works. There we go. All right, this is what I like to see. This is a fantastic start because as you can see now we can see all the changes here i don't have to like click around and try to be like okay well i don't know what's changed this is fantastic we need to keep using this because not only is this good for showing like the buffs and adjustment but other things going on in the game as well so first up all these things will take effect um october 1st uh wednesday at reset halloween roll magical cannon damage increase chip two now grants a 70 percent speed bonus I don't have a frame of reference to what it was before, top of my head. Uh, Magical Orb, the damage increase now summon six, or I think it was three or four before. Now grants a one second true invincibility. Oh, your ex also told me that they're changing the phrase uh, true shield to true invincibility, um, which uh, I guess I like a little bit more uh, because shields sound like it can negate damage that can't be removed, uh, is what uh, Zero had told me. And I don't know if it was because of like my constant complaining about it, I say constant complaining, but really, I only, I only mentioned it during videos. It's like, I don't like the wording of that. Um, but uh, yeah, true invincibility, I think that sounds a lot better because that's more akin to what it actually is and lines up with what's in the game. Um, as if you look at something like, um, like Sting Chameleon's chip, um, it'll like, like it grants iframes, but it words it as invincibility as, instead of, um, you know, a shield, uh, I believe. Um, and some other things do that as well. But regardless, a uh, passive two magical tour increases the damage of magical cannon by twenty percent. Oh, oh boy. Well, I mean that's better than five percent, I guess. Uh, passive three magical gal transform now increase the number of orbs by two. Uh, okay, so now we have eight orbs total. Um, by this, okay. Passive five barrage type magical gal, uh, magical gal uh, increase damage by twenty five percent, reduce damage taken by twenty percent with the launcher. That's actually pretty nice there. It was uh, HP equal to twenty percent attack of hitting a target with magical cannon. Fix DNA one gain a two second true invincibility after activating magical cannon. Fix DNA two increases the effect of passive five barrage by fifty percent. Uh, damage increase and damage taken decrease when equipped with the launcher. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this is. I feel like this will still confuse people um, just because of the wording, but I, I mean, I think it's, it's straightforward enough. I just think people are tend to get confused and things like this. So it says increase by 50%. Um, that means 50% of what's ever already here. Because um, I know some of the things people, uh, like for Black Zero initially, when he got a 20% increase when his DNA for something, it was like increases this by 20%. Um, by 20%, but it already had a 20% boost, so it was actually just a 4% increase. I know some people that thought it was 40% increase. I was like, no, that's not how math works, um, unfortunately. Following that, Halloween Sigma got changes to Whisper to Bat Shot. Bats might travel much faster, which is interesting. Um, I don't know how much faster much faster is. Uh, gain one second true invincibility upon activation. Cool. Ship one 20%, but cannot ignore terrain. 20% would travel slower. I think it was 5% before, wasn't it? Or something like that. Maybe it was 10%. I don't remember exactly. Uh, chip 3 hitting target. Uh, heals HP equal to 5%. 5.25% uh, of attack. And this is important to remember that it's per bat for this. So I think it shoots out 5 bats because Penta. Yeah, Penta bat shot. So it's uh, it's like 25 and change because of that. So that's something to keep in mind. I'll fight us. Now it triggers much faster. That's good. Uh, chip 3 burn damage increase to 15.3% every half second. Uh, Passive 3 changing into Demon Duke. Hellfire and triggers every 10 seconds. Uh, in game sense incorrectly states it's 25 seconds. But then coming in last 6 seconds. Okay, that's fantastic, right? Because this is why this is good. This is, this is this is great because it tells you it's like it's supposed to trigger every 10 seconds the in-game text is incorrect and it says every 25 seconds that is very very good because they can correctly identify like hey in-game data is wrong and we know it fixes incoming that's another good thing about just actively using the announcement board uh passive three hellfire protection reduce damage taken 50 percent when hellfire is active passive four c's uh no more cooldown on buffs to oh 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 that's interesting. Hmm. No cooldown on, on buff stealing. I actually have to look at that to see if that's just generic buff steal or is off of a uh, specific skill or something. 
Um, fix it in one, gain a two second, two invincibility after I can apply dust. Okay. When L fire is active, increase damage by 35. Don't you already have that? I thought you already had that. Might be thinking of someone else. Uh, awaken zero. Um, oh, this is the awaken zero. Um, oh, wait, no, this is a different change. We can do uh, Shingen Suited, uh, activating that grants 15% speed increase with attack up to three times like six seconds. Okay, so you get a 45% speed increase, or up to 45% speed increase at six seconds. Not bad. Cyber Buster got an update. Ooh, no, it carries 12 rounds. Wow, that's a lot more than it had before. Eh, that's a lot, but now it fires at a much greater rate. Damage decreased by 30%, now ignores terrain. That's very interesting, Um, because I wasn't expecting them to decrease damage by 30% um, while buffing it. Um... So that, that's actually very, very interesting to see how they're going to handle other things um, as well. So now it has 12 rounds, fights at a much faster rate, um, and it ignores terrain, which is fantastic with Cyber Buster. That's one of the biggest issues with um, a lot of older weapons. They don't ignore terrain. Uh, but allowing, allowing Cyber Buster to ignore terrain is huge. Um, they probably shouldn't do that with uh, Explosive Bolt, but you know what? If they do, I mean, that's, that's cool. I'll take it. Um, adjustments, zero virtual trigger, repeat activation on judgment cut and no longer has a cooldown. Wait, what? So now you can just spam this as long as an actual cooldown for the, the skill is. That's interesting. Maybe I'm not interpreting that correctly. Oh, zero. So the ability for loaded massacre can now trigger once every three seconds. Um, for the one second, two invincibility, once every four seconds, with two second, two invincibility. Uh, Trooper's ability for focus can only trigger uh, once every two seconds. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else to go into uh, here, though. Um, oh, there is. I forgot to do it at the top of the video, but uh, there is a new login bonus. Um, which is kind of weird to me that there's a new login bonus, but whatever. Um, not the fact that it is a login bonus, but what it is. So, I'm going to grab this, and you can see this right here. Uh, the Mad Mad Pecker card uh, pack for that. Uh, they're giving us one of the upgrades that they had for the uh, for one of the B rank cards into S rank. The reason I say that's weird is because the other one they locked behind the store, so you have to pay real people money to get that. So now let's take a look at what the Mad Mad Pecker does, because now it has an actual um, has an actual passive. Before this didn't have that. When equipped with two machine gun, why is it why is it worded like that? Okay, sure. Decrease damage, increase defense by ten percent. Uh, really? Only by ten percent for damage emit, but thirty percent for damage amp. Hmm, that's that's interesting. So the reason I thought this was weird because we already have cards with a similar effect. Um, I guess it's for better clarity, but I don't think they went back and changed the other cards for that though. Uh, yeah, I don't think they yeah they didn't. And I'm not sure they're going to. Uh, it just seems weird that they like kept <laughs> put the emphasis on two for that specific card. Um, and I don't think they're gonna go back and change it for the other cards either, because that that just seems like a weird change to me. Um, because it's already implied from the the double amplification and then the you know the the two the two things. But uh, sure, whatever. Uh, I guess that's fine. The Even of Flame event is still going on, so be sure to do this. I actually kind of forgot about the challenge run. I was gonna cover that as well, but. I have one HP, so it might be something interesting to do. But be sure to at least do your skip dives on this each day. Uh, aside from that, coming over here to the um, to the store, make sure to pick up your free daily pack. Other than that, um, this is a mega holiday. I don't remember if that was there last week. Uh, I've been for 13 more days though, so I guess it's something in the banners I haven't seen. Uh, yet today, but other than that, as per usual, the only thing I really recommend buying from the store, if you are going to purchase anything, uh, are the, are the daily packs over here. Taking a look at the banners, you have the Halloween Via banner here as well. And like I mentioned before, um, Halloween Zero is the much better unit in this case. Uh, Halloween Via just kind of exists, though I don't know if Halloween Via got any buffs, I'll have to take a look at that, because that wasn't in the announcement boards, and it hasn't been tweeted either, so I'm not sure. But there is a free pull on it, so if you want to shot at Halloween Via, hopefully you get them with a free pull. And we have a banner for the buffed characters as well. Halloween Roll, Halloween Sigma, and Halloween Pin. Dora, um, 
there is a ticket for this here that you can buy in the shop but i'm going to assume that you can also get it from the stream later tonight so as per usual if there is going to be a stream i will have a youtube short uh covering the codes for that uh uploaded later within an hour of the stream ending you got some extra missions over here from the event as well because it is, it is indeed a two-week event so this will help you clear out the event as well um you kind of have to like this the generic things do one of each difficulty once you don't have to uh, like s ring you just get one of each difficulty you get the 25 ems and such uh clearing difficulty eight gives you four thousand points on top of the ems and then the daily 500 points gets you uh 25 ems so be sure to claim those each day uh well the the 8,000 points is only once um the other ones uh, you can see that they say daily on it so like the the 500 points for the 25 ems those you can do each day and then coming over here I believe we had, yep, uh, we have some more uh, Clear Jacob within the time limit. Uh, we got we got the boy Duff McWhale in here. Oh, oops, meant to take a look at this. Uh, as far as ability, slow special attack, not bad. Uh, makes perfect sense considering um, the the Duff McWhale card, or Duff McWhale weapon. All right, coming over to take a quick look at Halloween Sigma, because I do want to seize. Huh. Okay, so it's specifically with Penta Bat Shot. Um, you can steal a buff. Okay, uh, I was very, very curious about that. Um, it did change the wording here, as you can see. Much of invincibility as well. So that's very good. Okay, Halloween VS seems to actually have been buffed. Uh, I'm not going to go over it entirely, because this video is already going to be quite long. Um, and again, this is a character that got, um, that got preemptive buffs. So... Just looking, just poking through a little bit here. Um, uh, this got buffed by like 25%. Um, the main, the main telling me that Tony got buffed was this. It said 20% instead of 5%. So I was like, all right, he, he got buffed. Um, and then I even cross checked it with the wiki. I uh, yeah, this did not get changed. This did not get changed. Um, this got buffed uh, by 15%. Uh, this got buffed by 15%. Um, gain twin invincibility for one second. Yep, that that's telltale sign that it did get buffed. Uh, and then the HP recovery got buffed by four percent. There. Uh, this looks like the same. Uh, uh the damage you deal got um got buffed. Yeah, because by thirty percent. And then I don't think the DNA got buffed on this. I would I would prefer if they could put everything in the everything that got changed in the announcement board because that would be really great. Um, though this is a preemptive buff, so I, it's, I, it feels kind of weird about that one. Uh, and I don't think anything else. Uh, this got buffed actually. Yeah, it's got buffed by forty percent. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it for this patch update. Uh, not too much, not all that much here. Most of it was just um, going through things and seeing what the updates were. I'm glad they're finally using this again. Uh, I just need it to be consistent because they did use this before and then they stopped. Um, it stopped getting updated uh, for quite a few months. Um, or maybe it was for, uh, no, it was quite a few months. I don't know if I want to say quite a few months, uh, but it was definitely down for quite some time. Anyway. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I guess let me know what you think about the buffs down below. And, uh, I think I saw Zero talking about wanting to buff Cinnamon. I don't know if that's going to come anytime soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.